Okay, for this setup, we will be configuring the TP-Link TLSG105E. It is a VLAN switch. So first is mag-connect ka ng cable on your switch to your laptop. Then open this network and internet. Advanced network settings. So you need to set a static IP on your LAN port to be able to access the VLAN switch. So let's set to 192.168.0.10. So make sure the first three octets are the same and you can use 10 at the last part. The same with the gateway 192.168.0.1 for the gateway. So this is the IP of the switch, the VLAN switch. So click OK. Then OK. Then after that, you need to verify. So open. So IP config. So as you can see, we have set is in blue LAN cable. So yun. Let's check if this can be ping. Ping 192.168.0.1. So now it's reachable. It means that from your LAN cable to the PC or laptop is now reachable. I'm using a PC here to configure. So open a web browser. So on the web address bar 192.168.0.1 click enter and by default you will find the username and password as admin so IP config admin so as this you can is by see default. we have set if your switch blue LAN cable ha don't so have any configuration so click login so you need to change the password so yes so I'll just put here a and password to change. So make sure you write it down the new password. This will be used in logging in the device. So click confirm. After confirm, you will see this. So this is the application. So you can set the name device name here for Elmer Shocks Tech and click apply. So now the device description is now to Elmer Shocks Tech. Then click the VLAN uh, system. Let's check the system first. IP settings. So this is the IP address. And yeah, switching. Now you can see that the port is down. So, link aggregate protocol, but the most important here is VLAN. So, let's go with the VLAN, port-based VLAN. So, in here, you need to reconfigure. So, also, the this one. So, you need to click the 802.1Q VLAN. Let's enable it. So, click apply. Okay, so now the default VLAN is 1. And now you need to create another VLAN 2. Then for port 1, it's untagged. For port 2, it's tagged. And the rest, the 3 and 4, will be not a member. We will use the port 2 as a connected to the Raspberry Pi or our orange pie and click apply and then modify and also we can delete uh, modify VLAN 2 so modify let's pay RPI or orange pie orange pie so click add so now it will be labeled and for the access point that will be used so we will still use the port 2 as tag then the 3 4 and 5 will be used vlan 22 and 
Again, you need to write the VLAN first, then tag as port 2, then 3 and 4 and 5 will be untagged. So, for this is the access point. Access port. So, those ports will be accessible. So, click add and modify. So, now we have port 1 as an ISP. So, that's by default number 2, port 2 will be used as the Raspberry Pi or the vending machine. 3, 4, 5 will be used as the access point so you can provide. So that's the configuration in the 802.1 VLAN configuration. While we, we go to the next configuration, the PVID. So here, for port 1, you need just to click uh, by default, number 1. For port 2, you need to PVID number 2. So, it means that the local VLAN will be port number 2. Then, port 3 and 4 and 5. So, you just click. And it will be used as 22. So, click apply. Yes, that's it. That's the configuration for the TP-Link. TLSG105E for the VLAN for the piece of Wi-Fi. So that's it guys. So you may log out now. Thank you for viewing and see you around.